Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps She like to suck on the road Ed and here's YouTube. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video, man. And uh, as promised, we're going to jump off a little bit into this pocket presence thing. It's not a lot of material, but it's it's poignant. It, it's very it, it's very helpful material. This is some of the stuff me and the guys in the private sessions, I, I probably think this is probably the most popular thing that comes away from the private sessions is the difference that guys see in the accuracy in their throws and, and also just just the difference in their game period, you know, with the pocket presence. So I'm kind of going to mix a game play in here. You know, it's me versus the Chiefs. I know a lot of guys have been requesting for me to do a game play. So um it's not a, a full gameplay but for the most part it is um if you have not registered for the for the um uh, you know for the franchise league man get in there send your five dollars uh to cash app coach dc 404 um make sure you include your gamer tag and also console um and venmo which is at symbol coach dc 404 man so um i want to say we have 12 already for the first xbox league and i think we're sitting at about nine or ten for playstation so um i'm updating daily man so guys go ahead and get your registration in man and and let's get to it i mean we will we will do more than one league you know so 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 get that taken care of man let's jump into this gameplay man it's been a minute since i've done a gameplay video um because I, I don't think y'all really actually really want to see me play because it's kind of boring because i'm just the person who's going to take what the guy gives me like simply I, in a nutshell i'm going to take what he gives me nine times out of ten you know a lot of those big plays and stuff that y'all see me make those are plays of necessity so one thing I want to show you guys, and as we've talked about in a few different videos, is holding that left stick to the left, left stick to the right at the snap of the ball. Watch how fast I'm able to get rid of that. That's a flat route, like the little flat route, the one that just runs straight to the sidelines, the play that nobody really runs. It's like probably one of the most useless routes, or it has been in Madden, especially on this game. But I'm telling you, if you can get rid of the ball so quickly on this game just by holding that left stick to the left, left stick or left stick to the right um, on the handoff. Uh, as you guys see me here on defense, a little match blitz, you know, apply heat, as my boy Third says. Yeah, man, apply heat to it. So uh, he's coming out in a bit of a stack. I'm expecting him to run with the quarterback and he goes for the one play touchdown and no, sir. That is Mr. 54 overall. Uh, Franklin. Yeah, he's a 54 overall. Yeah, just has speed. So lot, here's how pocket presence comes into play. That looks simple enough. Just a screen pass, you know, a nice little pickup by me, 404. What you didn't understand was I came set and I actually, you know, hit the R trigger to buy myself some time. On a lot of your screen passes, if you just R trigger away from the defense and buy yourself time, you can let the screen pass develop. Therefore, you'll get more yards. A lot of times we're just trying to throw it to get rid of it. But if you, you know, hit, hold on to that R trigger, you know, come set, hold on to that R trigger and then buy yourself enough time, enough time, enough time, dump it off, blocks develop on screen passes a lot better a lot better all right so i'm up seven zip um just got the pick 
you know, he, he tried to hit me with the one play touchdown. Maybe he didn't understand. I saw the same video. That was a joke. Anyway, uh, so got the ball here and, and this guy is blitz happy. He is in pinch buck zero or whatever. And he is screaming every time. But as you see, no ID in the mic, no keeping anybody in. Oh, Jameis <laughs> with the sleight of hand. <laughs> Hey man, that shovel pass is way more effective than y'all think. But if he keeps blitzing, this is why I don't do gameplay videos. He keeps blitzing, I'm just gonna keep doing that. And, and like, so I wonder how many people would actually wanna sit here and watch me do that. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> my gameplay videos have the least amount of views of all my videos. That's why I don't do them. Oh man. But yeah, cause yeah, I'm boring. I don't, I play a boring brand of football. You know, I'm going to take what you give me until you do something about it. And when you do something about it, then I'm going to hit you. So off in that cover five, he wanted the zig to the slot over there. Uh, we were sitting in that cover five on that side with the soft squat. And if he had threw that, it would have definitely been a touchdown. Just not for him. I can assure you that would have been a touchdown unless I dropped it or something. All right. So. Now, you know, second to 29, um, he's got me spread out. And the main thing I do when I play teams like the Chiefs is I make sure I have over the top coverage on Tyreek Hill. And and then I just cover everything else. I don't care. Yeah, you, hey, you hit me with everything else, but I'm not giving up that. I can assure you, you, you hey, you might get it once or twice. You might get it once, but see, look, we play down in distance football. Emphasis on the word football, not Madden, football. Now it is third and 36 here. So we drop guys off. We are obviously protecting the sticks. We're in the cover five. Um, you know, I have my adjustments on the field. As you can see, seam flat over here. I love that seam flat. And I see the corner coming. Let me get on the corner. And here comes the one play touchdown. Oh. Uh, yeah, I saw that video too. It was actually pretty good. Got a lot of views. Anyway, so set up in the pocket. Look at me, Jameis escapes to his right. I just throw one up. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Sometimes I can be real aggressive. Yeah. All right, so now 14 zip. He comes out and does what he need, he should have been doing in the first place is trying to establish the run. And then I wouldn't just be sitting past every play. But, you know, guys do what they do. And, that, and that's cool because he was actually at this point, he was kind of gashing me a little bit because I was sitting past. And so now I decided to make a run adjustment. And uh, when I make a run adjustment, stretch all you want. <laughs> we will be waiting on you when you arrive. You know what I mean? <laughs> I keep telling folks, man, do not think this is sweet, dog. This will get you, man. <laughs> I, I change your mind about some of this stuff. Anyway, so now we're making run adjustments because we see he's trying to mix it up a little bit. Third and 11. We were obviously in control. Uh, let me make get on my adjustments. And then I'm on white and I could Tyreek Hill just just blocked me to sleep at that point. I could not get off of him for nothing. So that was cool. All right. Third and three. Now watch this. Watch. This is a key play. Watch. I'm using the corner over here. Sometimes, fellas, you got to use her in, in weird spots. Because you know what the guy has to do according to your defense. So now it's fourth and three. And so now what I do is I'll move a guy. And then I'll be real still because he can't tell who I'm using. So now he's afraid to throw this little out route over here. So it's fourth and three and I'm, I'm covering middle. I'm like, okay, he got to go middle. I'm gonna get middle. He goes middle. I don't even know if he picked up one. Cause we own it. Got to make it look all the same fellas. And then he comes out and he is still sending everybody. And I'm still checked down Charlie. You know, yeah, that's what y'all can call me. Y'all can call me Coach DC, a.k.a. Check Down Charlie. But Check Down Charlie gonna take this thing to the house if you can't tackle in the open field, young man. 
<laughs> All right. So then I finally give up the ghost. I was pissed that I gave up that touchdown because he caught me right as I was dropping my end in the hook curl. I didn't get it off and uh, and results were there. But he's still blitzing like he doesn't care. And so check down Charlie as always. Uh, uh, oh, no. You can't give up. 70 yard touchdowns on two yard drag routes that is a no no in Madden in all circles whether professional <laughs> uh, semi professional YouTube content creator uh, guy standing on the corner anybody can't give up a two yard route that turns into a 70 yard touchdown just take a note of that write that down somewhere that, that will be important for you not just in Madden in life yeah, can't give up the two yard drag. So, all right. So I had to throw some Lamar in here and just wanted to show y'all some stuff with Lamar. Not even the whole gameplay thing, just some stuff. Quick sets, hold that left stick to the left, left stick to the right. As soon as you let it go, look at feet set, I'm ready to throw. And now I do have Lamar though, where I can buy time and uh, drop it in the bucket, as I once heard somebody say. <laughs> And so the quicker you get your feet set, fellas, the quicker you can throw. Yeah. Think about it from this aspect. A drop back animation under the center, if it's a five step drop, is probably going to take a second and a half, two seconds, play action even longer. Um, in the shotgun, it takes you a second to get quick set. So watch this. Ugh. When you have your hot routes on the field, your 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 you know your checkdowns, y'all you y'all have not seen me one time ID one mic, slide protect. I don't do none of that stuff, man. I don't do I don't do any of that stuff. And not to say that you shouldn't, because there's just no knock on anybody who does do it. But if you learn how to get your feet set, guess what? You won't have to. Yeah, I don't waste my time with that stuff because I don't have to. My feet come set every play. This is the way I do it. Left stick to the left, left stick to the right, whether under the center or in shotgun on pass plays, set. And um, look, it, that was actually, the, it was the same play that worked again for a long touchdown. All right, so let's let's jump into this practice mode. Let's, let's quickly get through this. So nothing more than a five yard quick out, speed out, whatever. Watch how quickly under the center, no steps, basically, you know, one, one and a half, ball gone. I mean, ball is gone before he even goes into his break, which will bring me to my next point. A lot of the interceptions you guys may be throwing, those interceptions are occurring because you're throwing the ball too late. They're probably good throws, but you're throwing it under the same rules that Madden has told you to throw it. And what I mean when I say that is you're going through a complete drop back animation. So those times are always synced. So think if think about what I'm telling you and watch this replay. I'm going to show you something on this replay. I'll make y'all understand something about Think about how we look at Madden. We look at Madden on a vertical basis. We're looking straight down the field like we're on the field. So watch this, watch this outside linebacker coming off over here on number on 78. I don't know who that is, sorry. But so as he comes off the edge, it looks like he's in a prime block shed spot. That looks like a block shed right there. It looks like a block shed waiting to happen because of the way we look at the game. So now, I'm gonna show this to you from the side. And what I'm gonna show you is, first of all, watch me not take any steps. I don't go through the drop back animations. Now, when you look at it from the side, what looks like a block shed, actually he's really being well blocked. So a lot of the times what we're doing is, when we see that, we start to run away or we start to retreat. And what that actually does is that creates a better rush angle for him to get a block shed as opposed to standing, getting your feet set, already being ready to throw, and then stepping up in the pocket. Yeah. So even on your RPOs, 
on your RPOs. Yes. Hold like in this in this situation, what I'm doing is I'm holding my left stick to the left pre snap. So I've already got my routes and all that stuff. I mean, it's an RPO, so you can't really hot route anybody. And this is one of the ones it's a wide receiver screen. These are plays that we think don't work. <laughs> no. We're just going through the full drop back and, and, and RPO animation before we throw them. That's the reason why the defender's standing out there. If you break the you break the animation, look at that. I, I broke the animation before the fake ever even occurred. Now watch the throw. This is beautiful right here. Look at Lamar right on a rope. Blockers, uh, the corners being handled by the, the good Reverend Willie Sneed. Turn up the field. Gain of 12, 13, 14, something like that. And so it's just a matter of just standing. Once you hold, you hold that left stick to the left, left stick to the right. And once you the ball is in your hands, you kind of you let it go for a half a second and the quarterback will not move again until you move him. But but here's the deal. When you come set, you're actually you can throw the ball as soon as I come set, I'm able to throw right there. I could throw the ball right there if I wanted to. And then look at it. Oh, this is the uh, one four six thing where the guy comes off the edge. I saw a lot of that in the Madden challenge. I, I chuckled as I saw that defense. And the fact that people aren't picking that up like really easy. And trust me, I know how to run it. Actually, I could never mind. Yeah. But so. So the thing is, is my feet are set now. Those little two, those little that little second and a half where I'm normally coming out of the drop back or shotgun drop back or under the center drop back animation. I get those two seconds in read time. So I could have hit this slant coming across the middle real easy. I actually could have hit the, the other receiver over there on the on the fade. But I chose to go to the, the good Reverend Willie Sneak. And as you see, the good Reverend is running to the back of the end zone and he decides to wreck them up. Yes. Oh, wow. Not the 49ers with all the extra. Uh, left trigger, come back towards the ball, and the good Reverend Willie Sneed, as we all knew. <laughs> He's Coach DC, man. Get him out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs>